Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new Idle Huntress video. Today is going to be a quick-ish video on a reroll guide. Many new players are joining this channel which I am more than thankful for and we got over to 100 subscribers. Thank you very much everybody. And yeah, so a lot of people are asking me how do I reroll? What do I need to reroll for? It's a very crucial piece of information for all these starting players. How do I start off on the right foot? Later in the week, or maybe next week, I'll have a more in-depth video on tips and tricks for beginning players and late game players as well, right? But I don't have too much time, but I do have time to make this video. Uh, I'll be going over the simple steps you need to do to in order to reroll, what you want to aim for, and then uh, a tier list I've, uh, I've constructed. So we'll get right into it. So this is a quick recording from my phone. You should be able to do this on uh, any iOS or Android phone. It might be more difficult on a emulator, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll throw some theory. So first things first, you're going to hit guest account and you're going to cut, you're going to skip through the cutscene, And then as soon as Hugo pops up right here, you're going to want to go into airplane mode. You're going to cut off your internet just really quick. As soon as you cut it off, I've got this video played back at 60%. So it's going to be a little, you see that reconnect, right? As soon as you get that message, you're going to go back onto the internet, hit reconnect and boom, you've now skipped the, the, uh, the tutorial, which is like a solid three, four minutes. But if you're re-rolling a ton, there you go. And so as soon as you sell, uh, hit the mail and then you'll be given 40 scrolls, which is four 10 re-rolls. And that's going to be uh, what, what we really want to get uh, our first batch of Huntresses, right? Here, I'm just going over and showing all the free immediate crystals the game's going to give you. All of these actually uh, respawn at the beginning of every week, every day, every month, right? So... Uh, as soon as we got the scrolls, we are going to go into the rolling area and immediately press, you see, we can't do the wish list, which I'll discuss that in a bit, but we hit the 10 scroll and on the first 10 roll, every time you will get at least one SS, uh, SSR Huntress. And here we got uh, Huang Zhao, who is all right, but not what we want. And then, uh, from the rest of this, we just, we, I do the 40 rolls and right. Uh, it's not a good account, so and obviously I don't want another account, so I just reset it and then we'll go into that process. But in the meantime, what you want to aim for on these rerolls, how many times you want to get to min-max your beginning characters without having to spend much money or anything at all, you're going to want to aim for Octavius, Da Vinci, and uh, uh, let's see, let's see, and Hua Tao, right? Those three. Octavius and Da Vinci, I've discussed multiple times, and you've seen in most in every one of my videos, <laughs> that these two core characters will carry you through the early game. They have a major synergy with each other, as well as future characters and uh, potential other banner characters. There you go, Octavius. So here's the catch. You don't necessarily need to roll for Octavius. Having one extra of her is great, but if you can afford to spend at least one dollar, the game will give you a free Octavius. So at the end of the day, okay, just to jump back, we're going to uh, switch accounts. So say I did not like that account, right? I would then hit guest account, uh, but it's going to be like, oh no, you know, it's going to re-log you in and here I do the airplane mode again. Uh, what you have to do, you have to bind the account. Now, you don't have to bind that to an email you care about, a password, a username, it doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as I hit reconnect, boom, I've skipped the tutorial again and here we go. It's the same account that you just saw me roll on. We're going to hit the gear and then hit manage and then bind account. So I don't like this account. I don't care for it. It's a dead account. You can't delete it. That's terrible. I don't know why they don't give that function. I'm just coming up random username. I uh, come up with a password. Thankfully my iOS, uh, 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 Apple knows not to show the keyboard, but it doesn't matter. It's a dead account anyway. Um, just create a password. Obviously you have to know what password you put so you can redo it on the next one. And then the email literally did a random email. And then you'll see in a second, as soon as I hit confirm and then go out, I'll be able to make a new guest account and we'll do a second reroll just for uh, demonstration purposes. But back to my previous conversation, you want to get um, Da Vinci, Huato, and uh, those two, at least, at least because you can buy Octavius for $1, $1. That's all you need to spend. And you got three of them. If you wanted to get all three of them and cannot afford to spend $1, one, I heavily recommend you don't play the game because $1, if you can't afford $1, you can't afford to really play the game. The game is extremely play, it's pay to play. It's not a subscription thing, but in order to actually get anywhere in the game, you need to put money into it. Uh, so that is a word of warning for all these viewers. You can, you can, if you can afford to spend maybe 20 bucks a month, that's doable. But definitely, if you can't even afford to spend a dollar, I'm sorry to say it, 
it, you're not going to get anywhere into the game, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you will if you spend years on the game, but uh, right, that's uh, that's something you have to discuss. So here I'm showing off another reroll. Uh, all I did was bind the old account to something random, hit guest account again, and here we go, another 40 rolls, and I don't like this account either. So uh, I'll, get, I'll play this out, but yes, Octavius, ooh, we got Helen, uh, and I'll show this in, a, in the tier list in the chart. Octavius, Da Vinci, Hotel, and uh, if you can get those three, that's great. If you can get another, if you can get, uh, let's see, uh, Huang in addition, hey, that's even better. Uh, and maybe Shakespeare. I'll go over to like what a beginning team comp looks like uh, in a second as soon as this uh, clip finishes up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so it, once again, just it's a bad account. I don't like it. Uh, it's got bad characters. I'm just going to go forward a bit. That's almost over. So bad account. Cool. Whatever. Rinse and repeat, right? Go to the profile, go to the gear, and then you hit, uh, you hit on, uh, let's say, the you bind the account and then you sign out and then you hit guest account again rinse and repeat cool 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 okay so information right here is a tier list unfortunately the discord bot on the unofficial discord the tier list thing broke completely broke and they stopped updating it so unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to do it myself if you guys the community really want one uh obviously it's not going to be super accurate it's going to be going off of the japanese wiki which that'll be down below i'll put that in the description if you guys want to make your best guests on there hopefully uh your translator works all right luckily my translator app does work well on i don't know japanese unfortunately so working with the best I've got as well as what the community has to say. So here we have a pretty generic chart uh, based off of the last updated version of the Discord chart, as well as I added a bunch of pictures of the new characters that are have been added, as well as are predicted to be added. The right explains what their borders around the mean. Here there's about, uh, I have these six and these five are new characters that haven't been uh, updated into it. So these are my best guess, as well as what the wiki has to say. Up on the top, we have Chiome. Next, we have Regleaf. Uh, Regenleaf. She has not been added to the game, but is predicted to be absolutely a uh, powerhouse. She's a, she's going to be a light unit. And then we have Junka, uh, who I just did a showcase on. Loki, Thor, which are uh, a light and dark unit. Very, very powerful, but uh, since they're light dark units, very expensive to invest into. Next, we have Catherine. Once again, done another showcase for her. Uh, very important, very integral to teams. And then we have Dante. She has not been added yet, but is going to be another dark unit uh, soon to come. Either she's going to come... Uh, we don't know yet. Either it's going to be Regenleaf or Dante next for their light dark banner. Either which, pretty good. I won't roll for Dante, but I'll get Regenleaf for sure. Uh, we'll see how she does when uh, other people are able to get her and we see some footage. Next down here, the additions I also added was Nene. I did not do a showcase for her because, uh, I mean, I have her, but she really is hard to show off unless you have her six-starred very heavily. She's a very, very important unit if you can afford to max her out. She's very, well, I say important. I say, let me say niche, extremely niche. If you can get her to six-star and and i think ee50 <laughs> uh extremely maxed out then she has the potential to make enemy units deal one damage one damage so <laughs> but that's a heavy heavy setup as well as a, a massive paycheck to have to get to that point uh next we have kasumi and marie which i did a short case on a while back pretty good units pretty good units once again they're light dark so they need a lot of investment into. And then we have the next two beach units. I don't know their names, sadly, but the next two DOA characters, which will come into the next collab. I just put them here because I assume they're going to be better than everyone below them. That's just a guess because uh, they should be as good as their counterparts. But uh, we'll see when we get to that point. So that's just a quick rundown on the tier list. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, maybe I make a Discord and we work on that. Right, because the community one's pretty, uh, pretty shot. Sadly, it's just the clans arguing at each other <laughs> in general, just being pretty chill. But the unofficial Discord is pretty much dead. It's not as dead as the actual Discord, which is really funny. But uh, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, based on the chart, the orange banners, if you can see it, it describes what characters are on a banner. Uh, and then the white is like dark and then the yellow is just your typical SS character that can be obtained on banners 
really quick, really quick note of importance. Darwin, Copernicus, Nene, Hannibal, Don Quixote, and Mandel all get added to the normal banner. So hold off on spending on them if you can. If you want to, go for it. But if, if you can hold off, I, I recommend you do. But they'll be on the normal banner. That'll be in the, I don't know how far out in the future, but they will be put on the normal banner. So don't, don't worry about throwing your money at it if you're willing to wait the long term because you'll be able to just roll for them naturally in the future. And they're very, very key troops that you can have on your team comps. So back to who you should get. Nice blown up pictures. Octavius, once again. Da Vinci. Huatau. Uh, those three are your core components. This is going to be your, your dream team for beginning content. If you can get uh, Da Vinci and, and Huatau, you're good. You're fine. You put in a dollar, you get Octavius. You're good. You're golden. You're golden, right? If you can't get Huatau, you can get Helen. Now, Hoto is a win unit and makes this three three synergy win team really, really good. But Helen is also a next, uh, a very high tier healer. She's not really helpful at low uh, on the lower early game because she only heals one at a time. And most of your troops die pretty quickly, whereas Hoto can get a team, a team heal. So that is something to keep in mind. You'll get her later on. That's nothing to worry about. Next off, uh, what you would want to add. So a, a starting win team is probably going to be uh, da, Vin uh, da Vinci, Octavius, Hua Tao, uh, Huang, and Shakespeare. Uh, that's going to be a five component win team. Very, very strong early game. However, you have your potential uh, switches, right? Instead of Shakespeare, you can get Minyamoto. However, she's going to be on a specialty banner when you get to floor 16 on the wind. Uh, or I, I forget when she unlocks, but she is she's gonna be a special banner and after that special banner runs out Don't don't buy it. Don't buy it uh, She'll be placed on the normal banner and you can roll for her normally on there Afterwards if you can really afford to do it and I've expressed in my in my Take showcase get Take get get her get her get her get her <laughs> Big price tag big price tag, but if you're willing to spend you get her and now you have instead of uh, instead of Huang you're going to have Octavius, Da Vinci, um, Huoto, or Helen, depending on which. And then you'll have uh, Div uh, you'll have Take and Minyamoto. That is, in my opinion, a dream team win team at the very beginning. Uh, when you start fighting fire teams, that's when you're going to want Helen instead because she'll debuff the Honda and you won't have to worry about the burn stacks. But definitely, if you want a powerful five stack win team, uh, this I mean this is your lineup let me move her her and her but this is going to be your your golden your golden horse for a win team if you can afford it typically most early players aren't going to be able to get her because her banner won't be out uh, but you will be able to get the three on the left and potentially these two as well to sub in okay so that is just a brief thing if you are done and you know what you're doing awesome um, next is going to be boring statistics. <laughs> so if you're like me, I want to know, okay, what are my chances, right? How, how many rerolls do I need to do to get what I'm asking for, right? So sadly, uh, well, give and take, right? This is, I did a hundred rerolls, a hundred, yes, a hundred rerolls. Uh, and this are the drops and the information and their probabilities of getting these characters out of the 40 rolls in in their um and their rerolls right so with the guaranteed first one i have accounted the the different probabilities uh so you name it you can it, dog on my stats in the comments if you want to but hey go for it i'll put the description for a copy of this spreadsheet so you can look at it yourself i also included a fresh version of this if you want to do your own experiments and down here if you don't want to read the percentages this is just pure numbers uh from those hundred rerolls uh yes yeah, so if you download the spreadsheet you'll be able to edit uh, up and down and that'll change the percentages up here and I made it all nice and there's also a fresh one let me show that one fresh reroll sheet if you guys want to I'll probably do a discord I'll probably do a discord and y'all can share your results if you care enough to uh, but yeah so as you can see there are very 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 biased characters in what the game wants to give you Octavius for me obviously it's random quote unquote that's what they say but 
here it's not so much obviously the light dark units on here yes they should be rare they should be very rare as 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 their probabilities actually are but octavius for some reason is just super rare she's even rarer than some of the light dark units i was rolling but you don't have to worry about getting her because if you can afford the dollar yeah you already got her so and there's no worries but uh huang you can totally get da vinci um kind of rare uh and then uh where let's see huang huato uh let's see okay she's pretty she's not the rarest but she's not as common as mozart or shakespeare right uh so once again this is just to give you a brief overview what is possible what do you want to aim for now at the end of the day get what you want you know uh let me go back to these are a lot of the characters in the game these are i mean all the characters currently in global so get get, get who you want right if you want to get good at the game and not and can't spend a whole lot of money you get these three you get these three right but a lot of cute girls that's why we all play this game i think uh get what you want i'm not i'm not here to judge I'm just here to give some advice right down below let me know how many rerolls it took to get what you wanted and i'll be happy to answer any questions and put as many informational things i can in the description and i think that's it this was supposed to be a quick video but <laughs> 16 minutes ain't too bad ain't too bad Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.